Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. We are from Group 5 will be presenting about tax audit. Before we start, let me introduce our team members. My name is Noor Nasia Sakina. My name is Mohammed Faiz. My name is Nasira. My name is Wan Mohammed Mirziadi Hakim. And my name is Kunat Salina. What is tax audit? Tax audit is the official examination or audit of the tax department of the tax return that declares by taxpayers as required by law. Taxpayers declare their tax returns monthly and annual to the tax department. Taxpayers may require by the tax department to have their documents reviewed by tax offices. Next is types of tax audit. There are six types of tax audit but I will tell you three of them. First is mail audit, second is office audit, third is field audit. Fourth is desk audit, fifth is limited audit and the last one is comprehensive audit. But now we will focus on three types of tax audit. First is mail audit. A mail audit is when the tax officer asks for additional documents or clarification on a certain tax return declaration and deductions. Second is office audit. You need to visit the local tax department. You should make sure that the information and documents that they need are ready. And the last one is field audit. A field audit is from tax departments where an officer examines your documents and questions you on site. It is happening if there is special suspicion from the tax department. What is definition for the tax audit factor based on our own understanding? Tax audits have various definitions with similar meaning. By referring to all definitions collected from the articles and journals, we could conclude that tax audit is an examination process of checking the individual or organizational tax reports and the financial statements. In other words, a tax audit is a process of investigation which aims at identifying the extent of fraud, deliberate default, or negligence committed by a taxpayer and obtaining evidence for probable prosecution of the culprit. Now we move on to the objectives of tax audit, which is the objective of conducting a tax audit is to determine the extent of compliance or non-compliance to tax laws and regulatory requirements in respect of tax obligations. Besides that, there are also a few processes that involved in tax audit. While the process involved in tax audit is filling out, calculating, collecting and deducting all taxes that comply with the applicable laws and regulations, which are conducted by the relevant tax authorities. How the Malaysian government or tax authorities such as Inland Revenue of Board Malaysian and Customs can improve their tax compliance level. Tax auditors play a critical role towards the effectiveness of tax audit and they ensure the success of the audit tax objectives. However, studies found that tax compliance issue remains unsolved although the number of IRBM tax auditors kept increasing over time. With tax audit, how the Malaysian government or tax authorities such as IRBM and Customs can improve their tax compliance level? Since the implementation of the self-assessment system, tax auditing has been a main activity for the Inland Revenue Board of Malaysia IRBM, with the objective of encouraging taxpayers to voluntarily disclose the actual tax calculation in line with the tax laws and regulations. Prior to the self-assessment system, SAS IRBM was important to compute a taxpayer's liabilities. The earlier tax system, on the other hand, is highly complicated since every tax return submitted must be reviewed and the amount of taxpayer responsibility is established by assessors. The government hoped that by associating with SAS, it would be able to handle the issue of unfinished cases of taxpayer returns. However, according to IRBM's Tax Operation Department data, the issue of non-compliance among taxpayers remains unaddressed with SAS despite the fact that the number of IRBM tax auditors has increased over time. Previous research discovered that many factors contribute to non-compliance issues, including the complexity of tax laws and regulations, incomplete accounting and business records kept by taxpayers, the complexity of the tax system, taxpayer behavior, inadequate financial records, and a lack of knowledge among taxpayers. One of the causes contributing to the larger number of outstanding tax audit cases might be the incompetence of IRBM tax auditors. 
In theory, the competency of tax auditors is measured in a tax audit context by the completion of the final assessment during compulsory tax training by tax officers who are well versed in tax laws and regulations, are able to recognize relevant standards, comprehend and are familiar with the related framework or guideline and applicable reporting requirement, and execute relevant audit procedures. Effective service delivery to taxpayers is a vital aspect in determining the authority's strength. Taxpayers tend to dodge when they believe the government is weak and unable to enforce the law. Non-compliers are directly motivated to continue dodging as a result of this. In order to build an effective tax administration, the tax authority must fortify itself by teaching and training its workers, computerizing its processes, and allocating greater resources. It may also be enhanced via professional education and competency development. It is critical for an auditor to do audits and improve their expertise by continuing to train and execute audits. In conclusion, Malaysia operates a self-assessment system where tax audits are an essential tool used by the Inland Revenue Board of Malaysia to ensure taxpayers are in compliance with the relevant tax laws and regulations. All the tax audits are important because they add something revenue to the government and thus should be encouraged as it assists the government in collecting appropriate tax revenue necessary for budget, maintaining economic and financial order and stability. That will ensure the satisfactory returns are submitted by the taxpayers as well as to ensure the amount due is collected and remitted to government. Thank you for watching and have a great day.